Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Strata Masterclass second session. This is Deepak from Investment Team of Strata. Today we are going to discuss about the emerging trends in the tier 2 cities, which is growing rapidly. And to discuss this, we have Devrat who takes care of asset management and leasing as a VP in Strata. So let's get started with the discussion. Hello Devrat. Thank you Deepak. I think uh, most of the time we have been discussing about tier 1 cities. Uh, COVID only, you know, catalyzed this whole thing, the focus on uh, tier 2 cities. And I think it's time when tier 2 cities are getting their own uh, due of uh, attention, right? So I think it's going to be an interesting discussion. Great. So my first question to you is, uh, as of now, we have been seeing tier 1 cities as the prominent location for all investors, uh, you know, to invest in uh, real estate or commercial real estate. Now, how do you see that tier two cities can also be replaced as one of the emerging markets and can attract more number of investors as an investment there? So, as per one of the UN reports, thirty-seven uh, percent of the urban population, I mean Indian population, would reside in urban centers in next two years, right? And this number is only going to cross forty percent in the coming decade. So if you just look at the number and you know India is the most populous uh, nation worldwide now, we have overtaken China. I think uh, you know this is only going to spill over to all your tier 2 uh, key cities such as Lucknow, Jaipur, Bhubaneswar, Kochi, so on and so forth. And not only this, uh, you know in the recent past if we look back, then government has been pretty proactive in giving the boost to infrastructure connectivity and plugging all the gaps that were there in terms of business etc for these tier 2 cities so with all the smart city initiative etc i think it's time that uh, tier 2 cities will come to the forefront great uh, so my next question would be uh, you know uh, after covid do you really feel that uh, most of the investors who are looking to invest is now considering tier 2 cities as well and uh, you know because of COVID has changed tier one cities, you know, uh, people who moved out and went back to their, you know, hometown, they started working from home and actually the productivity also increased. So what are your thoughts on that? So totally Deepak, uh, COVID indeed has, uh, you know, catalyzed this whole situation. So, so far until 2020, uh, everyone believed that they need to be in tier one location in order to, you know, work it and uh, do conduct business but uh, 2020 you know uh, this lockdown hit us and there was a massive uh, reverse migration three years forward i think companies have become a lot more uh, you know geography agnostic they are okay even if the talent is in tier two locations in fact they are even going a step further such as you know companies let me quote accenture for instance they are even going to cities like jaipur so on and so forth. So to build a hub and spoke model to ensure that their talent uh, in tier two cities retains there and there's more stickiness and they are comfortable and they can you know work easily. And not only this, uh, you know, affordable cost of living, uh, easy commute, all these factors are uh, you know really really uh, driving force behind these tier two locations. So uh, David, can you elaborate more on different asset classes that is getting attracted towards tier two cities? So Deepak, uh, I would say it's not one, but most of the real estate asset classes. Uh, let's take for instance, if we talk about industrial corridors, connectivity, right? let's say logistics, warehousing, for them connectivity is the key. So even if we take for instance, Bangalore, the recent Bangalore, Mansur Expressway, and the upcoming Nagpur to Mumbai Expressway, right? So it is pretty evident that uh, government is focused uh, on these tier two locations to provide them and to decentralize the concentration from tier one cities. So with the reverse migration also, and with a lot of urbanization, which is happening, a lot of uh, influx of population, even in these tier two cities, even more allied sector, not only logistics, but even allied sectors like, uh, you know, retail, there's more and more need of setting up more new malls, uh, setting up uh, more organized retails for brands to be there, to capture the disposable income that people have, that spending power that people have. And similarly, even hospitals, etc. Right? When more people are there, you need more multi-specialty hospitals, so on and so forth. Not only this, even to an extent, if we you know further go uh, one step ahead, even a lot of new startups, SMEs, and even corporates who are 
right now you know testing waters in these tier 2 location that also gives some impetus to office demand in these cities great so uh, can you please uh, point out some key driving forces or any pointers that is you know uh, making tier 2 cities more popular towards you know these different asset cl asset classes to reach out there see uh, you know the talent pool the population in whichever city it is there right sometimes uh, it's uh, the ecosystem which attract talent and sometimes once the talent is there the ecosystem develops in parallel so talking about these tier 2 cities right uh, the biggest plus point is affordable cost of living since there is high land availability so even to set up uh, new real estate asset classes right uh, it's more affordable and more it can be set up in a more organized way even if the cities were to grow it's relatively in a planned manner there are a lot of green open spaces lung space which is there so it's like a pretty balanced way which eventually impacts your quality of living also so all these are the fact key factors uh, you know and ease of commute also comes along the way so these put together these are some of the factors which have a very holistic impact in uh, you know getting that impetus for tier 2 cities very true so uh, i'm sure uh, there are some investors who would like to know that uh, you know what are the strata's plans about these tier 2 cities or what strata is planning to you know uh, to go and have something in uh, you know line with to launch something in tier 2 cities so well uh, deepak i think uh, we all know that strata has been ahead of the curve uh, it's been almost 2 years since we launched our first uh, jaipur warehousing opportunity uh, having said that coincidentally uh, we are evaluating another big opportunity in tier 2 probably you know people will have to wait for that to come to our platform to notice it soon uh, talking about our future plans right whether it's industrial warehousing retail hospital for that matter we are uh, committed to explore tier 2 geographies uh, our focus will remain on you know states like tamil nadu karnataka gujarat rajasthan and even maharashtra to tap into these tier 2 cities and get some real good assets on to our platform uh thank you so much devrath for this elaborated explanation on tier 2 cities and growing market i hope that all of our investors and all the investors who are looking to invest with us finds this uh, helpful and informative enough uh if you all have any questions or any doubts please uh, reach out to us at any given point of time we would be happy to assist you uh thank you so much devan welcome deepak it was pleasure to have today's discussion with you look forward to more thank you